and the needs are, are at running back for the Steelers. With the 11th pick, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Leon Searcy. Like we said. Tackle my I was University going of Miami. Say that all. <laughs> like we said, we don't win another, dinners on this one. Another need of somebody Miami to Dolphins block for those running board. back. <laughs> well, Leon Searcy, an outstanding player from Miami, originally thought was coveted by uh, the old athletic director at Miami, Sam Jankovic, but who is now with New England. But so the Steelers go with an offensive lineman. So now that's three offensive of linemen that have gone in the top 11 and Mel is this a bit of a surprise that they don't go running back I don't think so Chris I think they need a left guard desperately certainly a running back would have filled the void but they may be able to get a Derek Moore from Northeast Oklahoma in round two Leon seriously maybe wasn't expected to be there everybody thought he would go to New England earlier they traded down that allowed him to slide to Pittsburgh who needs to plug in a left guard as a starter immediately Leon seriously played a left tackle spot for Miami in that pro style offense so he's experienced in pass protection had to go up during his career against the likes of Hawkins and uh, Cortez Kennedy, Jerome Brown, so you know he can go, go against top players and handle them in one-on-one -on -one situations. And he projects inside the guard. He played that position earlier in his career. And he's a guy that they figure coming out of Miami will be able to step in immediately as a rookie and start at left guard and also sign ability factor for the Steelers. You have to say, running, running back, Ron Dunbar in the first round, economic. Got on me, but she like boys. Camp on time. Something you have to wonder about when you talk about running backs in this day and age of your long holdouts. The Miami Dolphins are next up. <laughs> is Troy Vincent, and after the Dolphins, the Dallas Cowboys. says, I'll give you the shirt off my back. Chances are it's not a docker shirt. And therefore, no great loss to him. Nor of any particular gain to you. I mean, what are you doing? All right, I forgot my, I forgot I got my a, birth equipment. I don't have it. I got a grow hand. light in the living room. Yeah, that's my baby. Daryl Strawberry and Eric Davis. Once they were boyhood friends. Now they're in your face. The Dodgers battle the Cardinals live at 10.30 Eastern on ESPN Monday Night Baseball. See the offensive lineman out of Miami. Hurricanes no stranger to the first round. If you look back at the last six years, Searcy becomes the 12th Miami player to go in the first round. By far the most of any school. All those national championships are not an accident. They could get a 13th before the first round is over with Darrell Williams, the fine defensive back. The Steelers get that solid... Division of Cleveland Browns get the solid citizen they like so much and Stanford running back Tommy Bardell. You have to feel great about what the Browns believe about your ability because it's not exactly like they're drafting a real need. They do have running backs there. Yeah, I'm, I'm real uh, happy that they consider me the, the best athlete on the board because uh, that's, that's how I understood they were uh, going to pick. Um, they showed some, some interest early and, and really backed off toward the end, so it's, it's a big surprise. I'm real excited. Chris, I think the Browns made a great choice, and if you're a Cleveland Brown fan like my family is in Crestline, Ohio, they've got to be happy today. But I think this is what you bring to the table at Cleveland. Because of the offense at Stanford, you played the fullback in the eye. You can block. You played the tailback in the eye against California. You can be that type of back, but you also played the split back and you're a good receiver. I think the offense has really helped you and will benefit the Cleveland Browns. What, what do you feel like that's your best attribute? Um, I think I think the, the versatility aspect, what, what you said, um, one real nice thing, we played under a, a, a pro system. Our offense was a pro set offense, so, um, so we're used to a lot of uh, different formations, uh, re having to read the different defensive fronts and everything, and uh, it really is trying to be an advantage. Bill Walsh told me on Monday, Chris, that if he had a first choice, this is the young man that he would take, and that's quite a compliment. A lot of teams would like this guy now. One of the 
things Tommy NFL teams do leading up to a pick where they, they probe and they ask all kinds of questions about everything to do with, with your personality. They did bring up the question of your faith, Christian scientists, and what impact that might have because some people of your faith do not accept medication for pain, do not accept needles. Is that a concern for any team you talk with? It, it, was, it, was, a, it was a concern at the beginning. Um, the, the owners and, and uh, people wanted to know because it's, it's a big investment. Um, but it, it wasn't a concern going into the, into the draft. It hasn't been an issue. Uh, you know, growing up playing football, I played football for 15 years. It's, it's only been an aid to me, and uh, it, it wasn't a problem at all. Uh, well, congratulations. Good luck in Cleveland. Also very happy for his former blocker, Bob Whitfield, who's headed to the Falcons, says Glanville, and Whitfield, they're a great match. Whitfield's a different guy. Fellas. Actually, we're going to take a break right here. We'll continue with more of the fast and furious draft in a minute. Point of fact. It takes the average person an average of 20 keystrokes to do an average task with their PC. Counterpoint. You can do it with just a point and click with Microsoft Windows. Homestead police say 12-year-old Ambernad Bell was driving and took the brunt of the impact. His mother frantic as paramedics load him into the back of a rescue vehicle for a short ride to the helicopter that will bring him to Children's Hospital. His mother allowed to fly with her son, whose condition at that very moment was described as extremely light. They were traveling westbound on the ATV, both riding together, struck a foam pole. And I Stroll GTX, engineered for today's smaller cars. If you thought Banana George Blair had found the fountain of youth... I'm 77 and still barefooty. You'd be half right, because the one he's found is actually for his car. With a little armor all protectant, George restores the beauty of his dashboard and seats. And in minutes, it helps protect his tires from fading and aging. It keeps my car looking almost as good as me. There is a fountain of youth. We own the patent. Armor all. I hope my teeth don't fall out. Dan figures the time he saves using Microsoft Excel for his budgets is time well spent with others. Microsoft Excel, the spreadsheet for Windows. Back at the draft, the helmet phone of the Dolphins is a blazing. They're next on the clock with their second first round pick. What about those fish? player who means more to his team than Dan Marino does to Miami. For an NFL record ninth straight year, Marino threw at least 20 touchdown passes. But Don Shula's perennial problem is with defense. Once again in 91, the Dolphins were among the worst in the NFL at stopping opposing ball carriers. Plays like this one happen much too infrequently. The Dolphins finished near the bottom in takeaways with 21. Last year's number one, Randall Hill, ran himself out of Miami and into Phoenix in return for this year's first-round pick. The Miami Dolphins last year ranked 25th in total defense. They allowed 4.6 yards a carry, which is the worst in the National Football League. With one of his first-round selections, Don Chula got a gift. He got Troy Vincent, cornerback, Wisconsin, to be the first uh, round pick in the number seven overall. Now he has the number 12 pick overall, and you got to think he's got to go defensive line. Now, the question is, guys, who along that defensive line? You've got Spellman from Ohio State. you got Johnson from Michigan State. You have uh, Marco Coleman, who's a pass rusher, Robert Porsche. I mean, it depends who that, but you've got to think D-line, don't you guys? Chester McLaughlin is yes. uh, also along that list. Uh, I, I think that they've also addressed, uh, I think they'll go D-line, of course, but I think they've also addressed three problems so far in this first round. They've got an outstanding return guy uh, watching Troy Vincent return mm -hmm. kicks. He will not fair catch the football. That's something that, that, that. that, that Joe loves. But, yeah, I think now you, now you start to build that front seven. You get a guy who can go after the passer and who will double as a guy who will protect Offerdahl and maybe keep him healthy during the course of the year. You know, Tommy, I think we talked about Bill Jones. Johnson being possibly one of the guys they might take. I would have to think that Bill Johnson does not fit in right now in the Miami Dolphins. He's going to have to have surgery, on, or he might not have to have surgery on that knee, but he did have a problem with that knee. They don't need a guy two years from now to come in and play for him. They need an impact player right now. That's why, you know, it's possibly Spellman, 